Assalamu alaikum. Serena Williams is a tennis great, and so much greater than that. Most people are not fortunate enough to realize the impact their life has made on others because, well, the majority of the accolades often come at memorials. But when you are Serena Williams, playing what is expected to be the final major tournament of a career emblazoned with the acronym GOAT, you must recognize how your presence and accomplishments on and off the tennis court have inspired the hopes and dreams of African Americans, in particular female athletes, how you have introduced a sport that appeared off limits to a new, diverse audience, and how you have rewritten society's definition of beauty, all this by doing things your way or not. Even Father Richard Williams, shunned, disrespected and laughed at when he shuttled his two young daughters, Venus and Serena, from their home in Compton, California, where they learned to play on public courts, to tennis clinics and tournaments throughout Southern California, could have predicted the influence his baby girl would have in a country club sport, and beyond. He knew they would both be number one. But that wasn't enough for Serena. Serena had turned pro when she was 14 but only played one tournament in 1995, none in 1996 then five in 1997. The following year, it was game on as she made her first appearance in each of the four Grand Slam tournaments, soon, there was no surface Serena couldn't master, from grass at the prestigious All England Lawn Tennis and Croquet Club, where she won seven prestigious Wimbledon titles, to the hard courts at Melbourne Park, where she also claimed seven Australian Open titles, and the USTA Billie Jean King National Tennis Centre, where she earned six US Open trophies, to the hallowed clay courts at Stayed Roland Garros, where three French Open championships came her way. Few people knew Serena was pregnant with her daughter, Alexis Olympia Ahanian Jr. when she beat Venus in the 2017 Australian Open Finals for her 23rd Grand Slam singles trophy. In all, seven of Serena's Grand Slam triumphs have come against Venus, the sister who taught her so much. Serena always had the luxury of having her protective big sister share tips on how to play opponents whom Venus may have already faced. With Venus, Serena also had a confidant who knew exactly what she was going through when it came to matters of race in the sport. Althea Gibson, who in 1956 became the first African American to win a Grand Slam title, and Arthur Ashe, who won three Grand Slam titles and remains the only African-American male tennis player to win the US Open and Wimbledon singles titles, didn't have this advantage. AT42, Venus has not mentioned retiring. For the past 27 years, Serena has given her all to the game. Now it's time to say goodbye, to let her continue to blossom into the mother, wife and businesswoman roles she has taken on while excelling on the court. We say, thank you, Serena. Kelly E. Carter is the New York Times best-selling author of Come to Win, business leaders, artists, doctors, and other visionaries on how sports can help you top your profession. Courtesy NPR.